welcome to our today's lesson and I am your tutor Oscar Ngatia and the question I want to tackle today is question 13 and the question reads the water supply in a town depends entirely on two water pumps A and B. The probability of pump A failing is 0 0.1 and the probability of pump B failing is 0 0.2. Calculate the probability that part A both pumps are working, but B, there is no water in the town, but C, only one pump is working, and but D, there is some water in the town. So having a look at this question, you can clearly be able to understand that this question has to actually borrow some knowledge from what you got introduced to as probability. So this has to apply actually a concept that gets referred to as probability. So, if you have to actually understand this better, you'll understand that with probability, you have to note the following. Number one, cannot exceed one. A matter of a chance of an event occurring cannot exceed one. A matter of a chance of an event occurring cannot exceed one. Number two, any response or any answer that gets given in as far as probability is concerned has to actually apply the use of a tree diagram or the use as well of what we call a Punnett square that gets used in biology when you want to want to get the genotype of offsprings in a test course that gets done as far as genetics is concerned so a punnett square can be used if a test cross is not actually available so in this case i'm going to actually say i have the origin or then i have two pumps i have pump a then i have pump b those are the two pumps in town so these pumps are actually able to either get found working or get found not working that is actually their fail so working then fail then going back to the question the probability of a working is 0 0.1 and the probability of b working is 0 0.2 so i'm just going to say a working is that b working is that so in that case if they are not working i can as well use the same values and as far as what the question is actually giving me is concerned and say that a is not actually working so that means it has failed and the probability of a failing is 0 0.1 good then i can come back to the question the probability of b failing is 0 0.2 so b failing 0 0.2 good so i can use decimals or even fractions i can even say 1 over 10 look at that or 2 10 good so that in this case here if 1 over 10 becomes the fraction for a failing or 0 0.1 becomes the decimal for a failing that means it working can have a probability of you can just say 1.0 minus 0 0.1 or you can say as well 10 over 10 minus 1 over 10 this gives me 0 0.9 or 9 over 10 good so i'll decide to use either decimals or use fractions where am i getting 1.0 i've told you probability cannot exceed one so if it is 0 0.1 failing then the remaining part becomes working that becomes 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 is the same as 1 over 10 so that one becomes as well probability of a failing so if it is working it can be or or 9 over 10 why because 10 over 10 that is actually the total fraction because the denominator is 10 then subtract 1 over 10 failing so working is 9 over 10 good the same thing applies here i'm going to say 0 0.2 you see the probability of b failing so from the total i will say 1 minus 0 minus 0 0.2 that gives me 0 0.8 good then i can as well say 
10 over 10 because the denominator is 10 here then I say minus 2 over 10 this gives me 8 over 10 so here you can say 8 over 10 or you can as well say 0 0.8 if I'm done with that part, I've actually completed my tree diagram. And in most cases, you'll find that sometimes this question gets given two marks. Now, don't answer anything here. Don't give any values as far as these two parts are concerned. From the origin, unless the question says a pump is picked at random, then you can say a half, a half. But if these pumps don't get picked at random, so you can't fill this part with anything as far as numerical values are concerned. So we'll proceed with the questions. So the first question reads, the probability that both pumps are working. So you'd say probability of A working, both are working. So it is A working and probability of B working. Let me tell you one thing here. There are two things to note here. Just in case you use the word and, the sign should actually be able to be multiplication. If you say or, then you are supposed to use addition. So and in probability means multiplication and or means addition. So I'm going to say the probability of both pumps working. So the probability of both pumps working or both pumps are working will be A is working and B is working. So both pumps are working. So A working is 9 over 10 or you can as well say 0 0.9 then you say and means multiplication then B working 8 over 10 or 0 0.8 so this is the same as saying 72 of 100 or 0 0.72 so any of these can be the answers any of these can be the answers great that is part a part a okay then part b part b that is actually done part b it says there is no water in the town. If there is no water in the town, that means no pump is working. So I'm going to say probability of A failing and probability of B failing. So if they are all failing, that means there's no water in the town because there's no pump to supply the water. So they have all failed, that's why there's no water in the town. So A failing is actually 0 0.1 or 1 over 10. That's what we have here. 10 good then multiply by because all are actually not working so that's actually and that means multiplication 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 so 0 0.1 b failing is actually 0 0.2 or 2 over 10 so 0 0.2 or 2 over 10 so what do i get here i'm going to get 0 0.02 is my answer or 2 over 100 is my answer so any of these can be the answer. So that means the probability of not having any water in the town is 0 0.02 or 2 over 100. In decimal, in fraction, all of them are acceptable. So let me go to something else. That is part C. Part C says only one pump is working. Only one pump is working. Only one pump is working. So this is done. This is done. So I'm to go actually to this part. So only one pump is working. So that means if only one pump is working, then I can say, let me assume there are actually uh, cases whereby you can have to look at all options possible. So you can say probability of A working and if A is working and probability of B failing. So in this first case or first scenario, only one pump is working and I've decided to take A as the one working and B obviously as the one which has actually failed or there's another possibility whereby you can have the probability of B which is the one working and the probability of A which is the one which has actually failed so in any of these two cases you only have one pump working either A is working and B has failed or B is working and A has failed. So I'm going to actually replace them. I've told you AND means multiplication and OR means addition. So A working, let's go back to our tree diagram, then see what we are supposed to pick. So A working is actually 9 over 10. So say 9 over 10 times. And B failing 
be failing is 0 0.2 or 2 over 10 so 2 over 10 then or I've told you means addition is in here then probability of B working B working is 8 over 10 so 8 over 10 times a failing that is 1 over 10 10. So I'm going to have 18 over 100 add to 8 over 100. That gives me 26 over 100. So 9 times 2, 18. 10 times 10, 100. Then I have 8 times 1, that is 8. 10 times 10, that's 100. If I add this to the denominator, it's the same, so I'll just add the numerator. So 26 out of 100. Or 0 0.26, the probability of only one. 6 over 100 or 0 0.26. Good. The last part of that question is there is some water in the town. There is some water in the town. That is part D. There is some water in the town. So if there's some water in the town, this is what I'm supposed to give you. A shortcut of getting the right answer straight away. You're saying 1 minus the opposites of the probability asked 1 minus the opposite of the probability asked that's the easiest way you can be able to actually do it 1 minus the opposite of the probability asked good so that means 1 minus now let me come back to the question they're saying there is some water in the town the opposite of not having water in the town is there is water. The opposite of having water in the town, there is no water. So, there is some water in the town. Obviously, on a higher negative way, you see, you can say, if there is some water in the town, the opposite that is actually much stronger is, there is no water in the town. So, I will say 1 minus no water in the town. No water in the town. So, that will be 1 minus. So, 1 minus opposite of the probability asked and the probability asked is some water in the town so one minus the opposite of the probability asked and the probability asked here is some water in the town so the opposite no water in the town so one minus now what was the probability of having no water in the town I have done that question here and it was all about a failing and b failing and the answer was 2 over 100 or 0 0.02 so i just come here and say 1 minus having no water in the town is 0 0.02 so the answer becomes 0 0.98 or you can as well say 98 over 100 so n of these can be the answer thank you so much and let's meet in our next video